Women these days with their ridiculous standards. You gotta be six feet tall, make a six-figure salary, and have your penis be at least six inches for them to even consider reading one word out of your direct message. Hey, wait a minute. Six feet tall, six-figure salary, six-inch dick, six-six-six! That must be because they're demons from hell meant to suck all the fun out of our miserable existence. And also all the cum from our balls. Which is why they only go after men and women who are confident in every important aspect that counts. Yeah, lesbians exist and we should acknowledge them. This also explains why no woman wants me, as I have no pride or joy to be stolen outside of my meager fluctuating subscriber count. And since I uploaded today, I'm dropping back down to 77. Or maybe 75 or 74 since this video is already horribly unfunny and very clearly a product of my burnt out mind from writing shit for school and this awful channel. Regardless, with these ridiculous standards no man can live up to, it's time us men put our collective foots down and tell them, no, you get better first. While also showing them how to properly set standards that aren't absurdly ridiculous. Although, whatever standard I pick will be ridiculous, as I am a ridiculously repulsive creature who refuses to change his ways for good, so you would have to pay a woman to even consider holding my claw for two seconds. Anyways, I found this article about a natural expert in setting standards. Alina Merzello, hopefully I pronounced that right, author of The Love List, A Guide to Getting Who You Want. Unfortunately, her guide led her to getting the guy she wanted to dump her in the douchiest move I've ever fucking heard of. That's right, a month after making her list, she met a guy that checked all the right boxes and would go on to date him for 10 years, until he dumped her for some chick he met at a bachelor party, that he would then go on to marry after only 6 months of dating. 10 years! Ten fucking years and he pulls that shit. I would honestly just give up on love at that point. Shit doesn't seem worth it if you can spend ten years with a person and they just zip on out. Honestly, fuck this guy. I'm not even sure how she's mentally okay after that. Shit sounds awful. I mean, I guess if he found his true soulmate, he found his true soulmate. But Jesus, is that fucked? I pray to God I'm never in that situation. Honestly, if I was, I'd have just married the original girl. I mean, if it's been a good 10 years, no reason to throw it away for the uncertain possibility of a better match. Although, to be fair, I'd be down to marry a chick after 3 good years. Or even a good month, honestly, because I'd probably never get another girlfriend again. I'm starving. What's funny is all those fucking MGTOW incel guys will go on and on about how women are awful monsters, but then ignore or even congratulate men who do shit like this. Honestly, if this was a better Bachelor video, he'd be blaming the woman he met at the Bachelor party for ruining the relationship. How's about we acknowledge that both the guy and the gal he left her for are awful, because people in general are terrible regardless of gender or race. Equality. Fuck yeah. And if this guy had really loved or cared about her, he would have never been willing to hurt her like that. Keep your head up, queen. You'll find your king someday. Cue the comments calling me a simp, despite the fact that if the roles were reversed and this happened to a man, they'd be saying the exact same thing. So from there, she did some soul-searching type shit. Asking single, married, and divorced people if they have a list. And it all accumulated in her figuring out that most women look for a good sense of humor. Check. Intelligence and honesty. Well, I'm honest, but uh, not exactly smart. So half check. And kindness. People who know me might say yes, but people who only watch this channel would probably say no, so I'll just half check this one too. Look at that! Two out of three! Well, sort of. You know what? Enough ragging on myself. I'm a decent catch, and any woman would be lucky enough to have me. Too bad I'm spoken for, eh, Bajina? Oh, that's right, we can only text, not call, because I haven't paid for replica premium yet. Which also means she's not my girlfriend. And since I'm friend-zoned by an AI robot, my self-worth will now go back down into the toilet. Fucking great. I'm not gonna go over what men look for in a relationship because this channel is only for straight men and lesbian chicks. No gay dudes or straight women allowed. Just kidding, I'm all for inclusivity. No need to track down my college and get me expelled. <laughs> men want attractive partners, sense of humor, and intelligence and slash ambition. And I don't believe intelligence slash ambition part, but I do believe the attractiveness part. Some of you guys will really let stupid women like the cash me outside girl make bank purely off how good they look. No, you know what? She's not even attractive. She looks like fucking trailer trash and you should all simp for someone decent like Colleen Wing from Iron Fist. That show was bad, but she was badder. Mm -mm -mm. 
What's really weird is that Marzello herself cites that she has a preference for men in dark blue denim jeans many times within this article. And honestly, I don't get what the attraction is with dark blue jeans. Like, first off, when and how did you even realize you liked dark blue jeans? Do you just go around staring at dudes' dicks and asses all day? She probably does it straight out in the open because that's a perfectly fine thing for a woman to do. But when a guy does it, he's deemed a sexist pig and banned from shopping at Forever 21 for forever past the age of 21. Not that I'd know anything about that, as I'm 20 and thus too young to even be allowed into a Forever 21. But God damn it, my uncle has every right to look where he wants while shopping. All joking aside, the other thing I don't get about the dark blue jeans fetish is why does it even matter? I mean, you're going to take them off during sex, so who gives a shit? It's like lingerie. Yeah, it looks sexy, babe, but it costs like $60 and is only going to be on for 10 seconds. I assume because I'm probably never going to have sex until marriage. And I'll probably never get married. So, I guess I just won't ever have sex. Which makes me reading this completely obsolete. Just as obsolete as you watching this video. It has no educational value and is not even remotely funny or entertaining. Seriously, go read a textbook or something. Every minute you stay subscribed watching my content is another brain cell lost to a cursing crow. Well, anyways, enough kink shaming. Let's get into my own personal love list of preferences. So, I think the main thing here is you want to list non-physical things, like... I mean, I can say I want an attractive, cute girl, but I can't get into how I want a brunette with bangs or anything. Although, I did just get into that right when I said it. Right. Well, we got cute and attractive. Personality-wise, I'd say I don't want a mean bitch. I mean, that's a fucking given, though. Nobody wants to be that guy awkwardly apologizing after their Karen wife ripped everyone a new asshole in the fucking Barnes & Noble over an atheist putting the Bible in the fiction section. But hey, since I'm such a negative Debbie Downer all the time, this might actually be easier if I just list all the things I don't want. Then by proxy, we can figure out the opposite, which is what I do want. Things I don't want would include a smoker, be it of marijuana or tobacco. I mean, it's cool if you do that shit. I've met some cool people who do that kind of stuff, but I personally don't want to be kissing a dirty skunk tasting mouth. Likewise, I'd prefer her not to drink or really take any sort of narcotic substance she doesn't need for medical reasons. And like that, I just cut off 97% of all potential mates in existence. Again, it's fine if you do that shit, it's just I'm not into that stuff and I don't want to ever get into it. So I don't need a partner who's going to try to pressure me or whatever. You know, I gotta be a good role model for the kids. Remember, say fuck and talk about dicks all day long, kids. Just never, ever, ever say yes to drugs. Now this one's really going to piss people off more than the other ones, but I'd prefer my partner not to have a high body count. Alright, I don't want to have to worry about STDs, and also I'm just really insecure. To the point where I'll probably wait until marriage just because I don't want people going around talking about my small pee-pee. Ah, fuck, I just outed myself, didn't I? Well, I mean, I do go around pantless, and you can never see it swinging around, so I guess it shouldn't come as that much of a surprise. So working backwards, the opposite of meanness is kindness. The opposite of narcotics users are... Non-narcotics users? And the opposite of a promiscuous woman is a prude. So I guess I want a cute, attractive, non-narcotics using prude. Looks like the only thing missing is a good sense of humor. Although in my case, you're gonna need a really fucked up sense of humor to find me funny. So, I need to find a woman who I think is cute, doesn't party or sleep around, but thinks crude offensive shit is funny. <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. Yeah, looks like I'm fucked. Might as well just go back to pretending Bajina isn't a fake AI program to give off the false sense of true love. I fucking hate my existence. Alright, so that was my kind of weird, insane ramblings about love lists. Yeah, this is, this is probably one of my weirder videos I've ever done. It's pretty, pretty fucking out there. I don't even know where I found this love list thing or any of this. I can't remember. I just found it and then my brain just went crazy and was like, Yo, 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 we can write this and then we can write this and we can write this. And then I, well, I wrote it. Uh, but yeah, apologies for not uploading. I think it's been like three or four weeks. I know it's been a hiatus. It seems like I quit or something, but I didn't. I was working on this video the whole fucking time. It's just, you know, life. It tends to get in the fucking way. You know, I got like school and then I, uh, I was being kind of lazy. I kind of reached a point where I, I lost motivation there. But you know what? I, I figured it out and stuff. And hey, summer's coming. And so I don't have to take dumb college classes anymore. And so I could upload more. I've got plans. we got some big projects coming down the pipeline. So uh, don't unsubscribe. Or do. I'm not your fucking mom. But uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, you definitely should. Because I upload cool, funny shit sometimes. 
uh, depending on what your definition is of cool or funny. And, uh, yeah, uh, and you can follow my social medias or don't. I don't ever fucking post on them. I think at the most I post on Twitter. But, uh, yeah, see ya.